everybody, this is Eleni. Welcome to my channel and my emoji face. Today we will do a book flip through and review of The Big Book of Kombucha by Hannah Crum. And before we move on to the review, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified each time I post a new video. So let's get on with the book review. The Big Book of Kombucha by Hannah Crum and Alex Lagori. You guys, this book that I'm going to flip through is such a colorful, beautiful book on how to make kombucha. Um, there's even a little notepad here where you can take your own notes when you're making your kombucha. There's information about the benefits and research of drinking kombucha. The history and science of kombucha. Using kombucha as a flea in and tick repellent. Very interesting. Scoby earrings. I mean, that's pretty cool. So when you make a kombucha, you create this um, this thing at the top, the mother actually. Some it's called the mother as well, and that's a scoby. And you can make all kinds of things. As you can see, you can make face masks. You can even cook the scobies. Um, there's some recipes here. here. You can see some recipes using the scoby. Lots of recipes. Now this book is not um, vegan by any stretch of the imagination because there's bone broth here. So it's not, you know, a book that I would use all recipes from, but there certainly are a ton of recipes that I would use as a vegan. I've been making kombucha for years. There's also another uh, drink similar to kombucha called Jun, that's J-U-N. And it uses green tea and honey, which is not vegan, whereas the kombucha uses black tea and sugar. And here are different flavors that you can mix and match and create a delicious kombucha. And this lady, Hannah Crum, also has a website. So you can check out her website and um, find all kinds of assistance. And here is dealing with the different kinds of molds and pictures of the different molds that you might encounter. Dealing with fruit flies and how to get rid of them. Continuous brew method is when you get a big container and that you just keep filling it. And this is what a SCOBY looks like. If you happen to have uh, chickens in your backyard, they uh, apparently love SCOBYs. And this is what it looks like when, you know, new yeast strands, the old SCOBYs at the bottom and a new one forms at the top. Some people it might look gross and if you're not grossed out then you could make some really delicious and healthy kombuchas. Different temperatures and what is just right. When they talk about the kind of water that you use, um, you know, you don't want to use chlorinated water. You want to uh, try and get water that is chlorine and fluoride free. Um, I distill my water, so that is what I use. That's 
sift tea sugar water. Here are some um, scobies that they show you how it grows over the days and this is at the start and this is after seven days. You can see this thick layer at the top. And that's a scoby hotel where you store your scobies or you know once you start producing a ton of scobies you can give them away to friends, friends and family and help them learn to make kombucha tea. This is obviously the history of, of kombucha, how it, how it all began. And that's it. It's a really awesome, colorful, beautiful book. A big book of kombucha. I highly recommend it and I will put a link uh, to this book in the description below. And again, my friends, please subscribe to my channel. Click the uh, bell icon, share with anyone you think would benefit from this, and leave me any comments. I'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye.